Hello to all the chillings that's out of school this week and next week because of the unfortunate situation we are in, the coronavirus. But what I want to do is encourage you, Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So you don't have a reason to be afraid. So what we're going to do... And to protect you, these are not N95 masks. These are just sneeze guard cough masks. So, for all you children, I want you to go get your scissors. I want you to tell mama to take you to Walmart and get you some uh, fat quarters. These are called fat quarters. You can find them in the sewing department. So I got Batman. I got Minnie Mouse. I got Superman, and I got whoever these little things, Shopkins. My granddaughter and them, they love Shopkins. So, for all you children, ain't y'all excited? Y'all want to do a mask? Hey, let's do a mask. Let's learn a new skill while you're out. So, if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so what you're going to need is, of course, like I told you, your little fat quarters. And I got those in a variety. And then you're gonna need your elastic. Your elastic is going to be to hold those things in place so it can be, so your ear, it um be connected to your ear. So this is kind of what we're getting ready to cut out, okay? This mask is can fit anybody, so you'll need that. And if you're really nifty, you can glue these together. Um, I am not going to glue mine, but you can glue yours together. I'm going to sew mine on the sewing machine, okay? Hmm, maybe we can glue. I got a hot glue gun. Hmm, maybe we'll do that next time. But what you're going to need, and you're going to need mom to help if you are small. We're going to cut this out, and I'm going to give you the measurements, okay? So the measurements you're going to need is we're going to take this over five and a half inches okay draw you a five and a half inch draw that line straight down i'm gonna do it with y'all i'm gonna do it with y'all how about that i'm gonna do it with y'all so five and a half inches down i'm gonna use my red let's do some colorful stuff let's go down uh -oh. five and a half inches down five and a half I know my line's not straight right now. Then what we're going to do is go up six inches. Right there on the edge. Go up six inches and come all the way down. Then what we're going to do is, let's see here, six and a half inches. That's my little template, y'all. Okay, then we're going to take, go up. That two and a half inches. Okay. Go up two and a half inches. Okay. Two and a half inches. Find your line. You need some graph paper for this. Okay. And keep your line straight. Now you go over. Take that line all the way over to six. Okay. Take it all the way over to six. Actually, take that over to six and a quarter. Okay. Then, what you're going to do is right there at your, what you took that over, five and a half, and quite a half. Then you're going up, five and a half, you're going up to six and a half, okay? Go up to six and a half, all the way up, okay? Now we're getting ready to connect. Y'all know how to connect the dots, right? We're going to connect the dots. Okay. So, to get our little swoop, we're going from here to here. Okay? So, connect. And we're going in a swoop. Okay? Go in a swoop. Uh-oh. I told y'all my... Y'all going to have to show me how to draw. Okay. Just went up in your swoop. Then, what you're going to do... See, remember I told you to come out right here? You're going to connect that one. And then you're going over and connect that one. Look what we just did. Now what you do, you done done that. 
And these are my fabric scissors. I do not cut with these. Let me go get my other scissors that I cut with. These are my paper scissors. Okay, so take that out. You got your template now, okay? Now you gotta cut it out, okay? Cut that out. Put your template out. Y'all is, ooh, look at y'all. Ooh, y'all doing so good. So good. Okay. So, what I want to do is give mine a little bit more of a swoop. I didn't swoop mine enough. I want a nice swoop, okay? But you stay at that. That, those dots. Stay at your dots. Now, look what you Oh, y'all are doing so wonderful. How about we start with, which one should we start with? Uh, let's start with Minnie Mouse. I like Minnie Mouse. Hey, I'm partial. You can get the kind you want, but I'm partial. I like Minnie Mouse. She's been around a while, so I like her. So, you're going to open out your fat quarter, okay? Open it out. Open it out, just like that. Then what you're going to do, fold it over, okay? Fold it over, just like that. So, now what you do, this is your template, okay? That's your template. Then what you got to do, because you're going to need... A total of four because you gotta have a lining okay so you fold that up again y'all get that y'all are not watching me okay open it out that's how it is then you fold it all the way over then you fold it up one more time like that you might have to go up a little bit more however much you need to get that point in there get your whole point in there now then what you're going to do y'all got some pins if you don't have some pins, y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to be really creative and hold that down or have mama or somebody to help y'all. Okay, so now I can use my fabric scissors. Okay, now we just cut this out. You just cut it out, honey. Cut it out. Cut it out. And you got your little edges over there, so you gotta open those out. I folded that on the fold so open that out open that out like that look, look what y'all just did oh my goodness so this is what you got to do now take your pins out this is your template you can make many as you want okay so what you're going to do is you got to take you got to do a little bit of sewing okay we learning a new skill today, okay? So turn those over. Turn it over. Uh-oh, on the right side. Don't be laughing at me. I, 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 Y'all laughing at me. Now, sandwich those together like that. Now you're going to need your pins again. Pin. Pin it. Pinning, what pinning does is it helps you keep everything straight. So what you're gonna do, and you need mom's help for this, you gotta do both of them just like this, okay? You go over to your sewing machine, and you're gonna start at the top, come all the way around. Tell mama you need a 5 8 of an inch stitch. Same thing for that one. When you do that one, come on back here now. Okay, y'all back. Did y'all sew that? I hope y'all did. So, we sewed See, all the way around there. And then I did some little snips on there so it'll open out. And this is what you should have right now. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So, for my little amateur miniature uh, sewers who don't have a sewing machine, I got the glue gun out. So, I'm going to show you how to do it with the glue gun if you don't have a sewing machine, okay? So we're gonna do this part with the sewing machine. So, I mean with the glue gun. So I got my glue gun in here, got my little stuff in there, my glue stick in there, and the glue is coming out. And what you do is, you just like you was gonna stitch, you open this out on this end here, and you take your glue, you start at the end there, and you go all the way up, all the way up. Make sure you sit that on something. Then you take this one, 
and you got to sandwich that in there. Get that glue. Don't burn your finger. I burnt my finger a couple times. And whew, did it again that time. Oh. So let that dry. Let it dry. Let it dry. Let it dry. Okay. Once it dries. Y'all learning so much today. Y'all know that. Y'all gonna be so smart. So, once it is dry, look what you got. Uh-oh, I didn't let mine dry good. See, that's why I said let it dry. And that's why it says, let me see where it says follow direction. Follow directions. It says it right there, follow directions. I did not follow directions. There it is again. Follow directions. All right, you got to follow directions, okay? All right, y'all, you got to follow directions. But don't be talking about me because it also says give compliments. See, don't be talking about me. Okay, so anyway, that part that I opened up because I did not follow directions, guess what I got to do? Mm-hmm, I got to go back in there and put some more glue in there because I did not. Follow directions. Uh oh. So I'm gonna follow directions this time, y'all. Okay. Y'all having fun? I hope y'all are, cause I am having so much fun. I love doing little projects. So that's my grandkids. When they come over, they know Nana is the Nana doctor. Nana's gonna pull out the stethoscope. Nana's gonna put out the optoscope. She's going to be looking in ears. She's going to be doing all that stuff because that's what I do, okay? I'm Nana. So, I followed directions this time. So, look what we got. Look what we got. It's just like the other one. Just like the other one, guys. Oh, my goodness. We are so smart. So, what I'm going to do since we have done that, we're going to put those to the side. And now you need, this project is so easy. You just got to get your elastic, okay? I thought I had some elastic that was already open, but I, okay, I do. I have some that's already open. So what you do, got you some elastic. You just need a little piece like this. You want something where it can go around, okay? So what you do, you're going to get this. And you're gonna measure, measure how much you're gonna need. So I know I'm gonna need that much. Then I'm gonna take an extra inch because some of it's gonna be in there for seam allowance. Cut that. Then you're going to do the same. You're gonna need two of these, okay? You have two ears, right? Okay, you're gonna need two of these. I have two ears, so you have two ears, you're gonna need two of these. I hope you have two ears, okay? So, now what you're going to do, remember we said that we are going to glue the rest because some people might not have, uh, some people might not have a um, sewing machine. So, what you do, make your two snips, and let me tell you how far away the snips need to be. Because you know, this is three inches. So, put your snips one inch up and then start at this end one inch in there so you'll know where your snips are your snips are where you're going to place your elastic okay so put a dot everywhere you put your snip in those two places snip find your snips and then put one there now you got that okay now what you're going to do is take your let me do it this way first so you can see it. And find something that so you don't burn your hand like I done done. Put it in there like that. See, we're working from the inside. From the inside. Something like that so you don't burn yourself. Okay? Then we're going to do the next one the same way. Okay? All right? So, I don't want y'all to be afraid, okay? Just... Cover yourself. Just follow directions, okay? So, now that we have our little 
elastic ear tabs on. Guess what we're going to do now? This is when you get your other piece. Y'all, we're almost done. Can y'all believe that? We're almost done. So, this is what you're going to do with your glue gun. You're going to take this all the way around. The glue. All the way around. I think I'm going to need some more glue. All the way up. All the way around. All the way around. Ooh, I, got, I need a new glue stick, y'all. Make sure y'all keep y'all tools close by. Because now I need a new glue stick. See? You just stick that in there and keep going. Keep going. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Come all the way down there. Now, you're going to have to leave a little opening because you got to be able to flip this inside out, okay? So, leave your opening in the middle part. Leave your opening. I'm going to leave that much open. I ain't going to glue that, okay? Because we got to be able to flip it out. Okay, now what you do is you're going to get this one. And you go... Okay, now what you do, start from the sides, because I don't want y'all burning y'all self. Okay, that glue gun is hot. That glue is hot, y'all. Okay, but you got to move fast because the glue, it dries pretty fast, okay? So if it dry, all you got to do is put some more. When it dry, just put some more glue on there, okay? If it then dried up before you can get them to stick. Just put you some more glue on there, okay? Easy to fix that. Put you some more glue on there. It, it's not the end of the world. Put you some more glue on there. All right? I don't know about y'all, but this is so fun. This is really fun. Okay, so... Got all that on there. That's drying. Yeah, and all that. But you want to make sure. Glue just like me. You want to burn me. So. Make sure you got. Everything lined up. And. What we're going to do. Follow directions. And what else you supposed to do. Be respectful. Be cooperative. Be honest. Do your best. Tell the truth. Work hard. Have fun, like we're doing now, right? Give compliments. Listen to others. You got to please raise your hand, too. You can't just blabber out. Miss Aaliyah, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm Leah. I'm putting you on blast. It's my granddaughter. She know I love her. So, you got to listen. So, now once you think that is dry, don't do it until you think it's dry. Okay? Don't do it till you think it's dry. Don't do it till you think it's dry. Don't do it till you think it's dry. Okay. My grandkids always say I'm funny. But y'all get to see the funny side of me when I am dealing with my grandkids. Okay? Shout out to my grandkids, by the way. The twins in Michigan, Micah, Mariah, uh, Meme, Caleb. Shout out to y'all in Michigan. Shout out to Roosevelt, Madison, and uh, Matthew in Atlanta, Georgia. And Jay in California. Shout out to Jay in California. Shout out to my grandkids that are here with me in Mississippi, Miss Aaliyah, who I was just talking about, Cameron, Eli, and Jordan. Shout out to my grandbabies. All right. So, since I did all of that, y'all, I know y'all embarrassed now. Nana, what are you doing? Nana. So, what we're going to do, see, I got some spots here that dry. Y'all can see some spots that dry. Some spots that dry. If y'all got spots that dry, all you got to do is put some glue there. That's all you got to do. It is not the end of the world, okay? 
Do not get mad at yourself and say, I didn't do it right. Oh my goodness. It's not the end of the world, y'all. It is not. It's okay. You can do it. Okay? If I quit burning myself and stop laughing at me. Y'all are laughing at me. I know you are. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it on out. Turn it on out. Turn it on out. Okay. Getting ready to turn it out. See what you got. Y'all ready to turn y'all's out? Y'all turning y'all's out? Y'all turning it out? Come on. Turn it out. See what you got. Don't be scared. Don't be you laughing at mine now. Let me see how y'all's look. I want to see how y'all's look. I want to see it. I want to see it. Put them pictures in the comment box below. Leave a picture because I want to see your work. Come on, tell mama to upload that picture. I want to see what you did. Uh oh, look at that, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Oh, Jesus. Look at what I did. Look at what I did. Look at what I did. So, if you're getting pieces like mine that is coming out, have no fear, Grandma. Nana Kathy is here. All you got to do, we got more glue, right? All you got to do is add some more glue. That's all you got to do, okay? Add some more glue. That's all you got to do. Sometimes the glue is not going to stick on the fabric like you want it to. So all you got to do is... Stick it on there, okay? Stick it on there. Now, I'm just partial to my sewing machine. So, I would do it on my sewing machine. Now, this part that we did not sew, guess what we're going to do? We're going to glue that now, okay? going to glue that. Glue that up. Glue it up. Glue it up. Okay, glue that up. So all y'all gonna do is just glue that part that you left out so you could flip. Okay? And I'm doing it this way because when that glue gets stuck on your hand, all you gotta do is do that and roll it off. Okay? Just roll it off. Okay? That's all you gotta do. So Mine is finished, guys. I hope y'all's is finished. So, if yours is finished, this is what you should have. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Aren't we cool? Aren't we cool? I got to uh, loosen up my elastic some because mine is a little big. Aren't we cool? Look at that. So, if you like this video... Give me a thumbs up. And I want to see y'all projects. I am serious. Put them in the description box. Put them in the comments. I I don't care how they look. I want to see them. So, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all are learning a new skill while you're out of school. Don't just sit around. Look for some more videos. I'm going to try to find some. Let me know what y'all want me to do. I'll do some videos. Let me know what you like in the comment section below. Peace, love, and blessings. Stay safe.